This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an HP DV4 laptop, HP Pavilion DV4 laptop. Uh, now this laptop is a bit unusual in that it's known to have a lot of screen problems. So if you have a dark screen, you can see the images, but there's no back backlight, it's really dark. That means usually there's a problem with the motherboard. Or if you see a blank white screen, there's also a problem with the motherboard. Most likely changing the screen on those in those cases will not help. So in that case, just invest in a new laptop. However, if you have a laptop with a cracked screen and the backlight still works, you see a funny pattern in the back with the backlight on, then it's worth it to replace the screen on this. Okay, so we're going to need some tools. We're going to need some uh, metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver with a pH 1 bit and a smaller pH zero bit and an exacto knife blade so the first thing that we do is there are some plastic covers on the screws over here we take that off with our exacto blade one and two and then we use our small screwdriver or the ph1 actually screwdriver bit to remove these screws one and two Okay, the next thing we need to do is to remove the plastic frame around the script screen, also known as a casing and also known as a bezel. So, what I like to do in this case is gently with my fingers on the screen side, pry it open like this and gently go around. So you should hear some snapping sounds, like so. So keep gently going around, like so, until you get to the bottom. Now the bottom on this laptop is a little bit tricky, well actually. So you just keep kind of playing with it until it comes off like so and then our screen is exposed so then we have to remove the screen and the screen is held by screws to the frame on the sides and we need to get to these screws over here and to get to these screws we need to tilt the screen forward I don't know what that annoying beeping sound is, but you'll have to put up with it for the duration of the video. Okay. Very annoying beeping sound. Too many electronics. Okay, so first you remove these top two screws. And then you loosen the screws at the bottom, like so. And that's to tilt the screen forward, like so. And loosen the screen here, one, and two, and three. My laptop, I'm back. Oh. It was actually my laptop was running out of battery because I forgot to plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in and we should be good to go. 
All right, next thing we're going to do is tilt the screen forward. And there's some tape here that's glued to the back, and that's precluding us from doing that. And we're going to try again. And we almost did it. Now let's see. Okay, if we take a look here, we see that this aluminum foil is holding the screen back. So what we do is pry off the whole webcam, and now we can tilt the screen forward. Now once the screen is tilted forward, there's some screws that we can get to on the side, and we use a pH zero bit right here. So we change the bit on our screwdriver to pH zero, and start loosening, removing the four screws on each side here. So one, three, and four. Okay, now we turn the laptop around and do the same thing on the other side. There's four screws that we have to remove. Now when you remove the last one, careful, hold the screen so it doesn't just fall down on you. I don't think it really matters which order you remove in, remove them in, whatever feels best to you. Now when we t put the screen, tilt the screen down, there's some more tricks that you have to know about this particular model that other models don't usually have. So I'll show you that in just a second. We'll get the last screw. Okay, so the screen is released from the plastic, from the metal frame, and we try to tilt it forward. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, this screen has a, pla a metal shield, an aluminum shield on the back. So first, actually we're going to leave the webcam in. So you're going to peel this part back where the connector is, like so. Okay, and this is a bit of a surprise because this has an unusual screen. Usually the connector is on the other side. The connector is usually right here, but this looks like a LED screen. So we'll see. But the procedure is pretty much identical for an LED screen or for a regular screen. Okay, so then I guess we're gonna remove the webcam. All right, so what you have to do for both types of screens is to take off this plastic shield carefully, and then we have to save it to put on the new screen. So what I like to do in this case is use my exacto blade to pry off the ears where the flaps where the screen goes on this side like this and I try to preserve it try not to rip it and just go slowly over here
like so. Okay, I have one. This exacto blade is probably the best tool for this because it can go under the shield and lift it up like so. And one more. Like so. We're almost done here. Okay. So next we pry this plastic shield back. I'm trying to save it. And when we put on the new screen, we just put the shield back on. Okay, almost there. Try to save the flap on the other part. Like so. Okay, and then that's the press, and that's the metal shield. We'll straighten out and we put it on the new screen once it's ready. Okay, now let's take a look at the screen we just took out. This is a bit of an unusual screen. It's a 14.1 inch LED screen, which is usually a size for the older CCFL screen. And the connector's down here. If this was a screen that's on most of these laptops, there would be a connector right here and another connector for the lamp down here. But this is a LED screen and the part number for this LED screen is LTN141AT06. Now when you search for this LED screen make sure the connector is here and not over here because oftentimes it will be the exact same part number but the connector will be in a different place. Okay so um, once you do that all you have to do is get a new screen put the metal shield on there and reverse the procedure and put the laptop back together and you should be ready to go and that's it and good luck.